Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly have a look at some of the questions. Question number 1. To walk through a waterlogged area, you usually shorten the length of your dress by folding it. Can this change be reversed? So let's say you are wearing a full pant and you suddenly enter an area where there is a lot of water log, a lot of water present. Now your pant will unnecessarily become dirty and wet. So what you do, you just fold your pants and then start walking through the water. Now this shortening the length of your dress, which you did by folding, is this is a change, right? Earlier it was like this, now it is like this. So this, this is a change. But what kind of change is it? Is it reversible? Can you unfold it again to make it like this yes of course so this is a reversible change question number two you accidentally dropped your favorite toy and broke it this is a change you did not want can this change be reversed now once your toy is broken into many pieces you immediately cannot join it back to make the toy again until and unless it is such a toy where like the parts can be like removed and they can be joined back otherwise in a normal toy if it has broken into pieces you cannot join it back so this would be an irreversible change Question number three. Some changes are listed in the following table. For each change, write in the blank column whether the change can be reversed or not. Sawing of a piece of wood, that is basically breaking a piece of wood or making it into two pieces. So can you reverse it? No, because once it is broken into two pieces, we cannot join it immediately. Melting of ice candy. Yes, this is reversible. So it melts when it is exposed to high temperature. Again, if you put it inside the refrigerator, it will again solidify so this is a reversible change dissolving sugar in water that is also is a reversible change because once you heat the water water will evaporate and you will be left behind with the sugar so that way you can separate sugar from water cooking of food this is not reversible because when you cook food you expose the food to high temperature and under high temperature a lot of changes in chemical composition also take place which cannot be reversed Ripening of a mango. So once a ripe mango ripens, do you think it will become unripe again? No. So this is irreversible. Souring of milk. Souring of milk is nothing but formation of curd. So once curd is formed from milk, you cannot get the milk back again. So this is also not reversible. Question number four. A drawing sheet changes when you draw a picture on it. Can you reverse this change? So let's say this is the drawing sheet. So right now you do not have anything on it. Let's say you have drawn a picture using a pencil. So do you think that uh, the change would be reversible? Yes. So if it is a pencil sketch, then it is reversible. Why? Because you can erase it with the help of an eraser. So if it is just a pencil sketch, this is reversible. But let us say that it is not just a pencil sketch. So you have put a lot of colors, pens and sketch pens and so many things. So in this case, this would be irreversible because you cannot erase it using an eraser. So basically it will always be there like this. So this would be irreversible. Question number five. Give ex examples to explain the difference between changes that can or cannot be reversed. Now, some changes cannot be reversed. For example, you take a piece of paper and tear it into two pieces. So can you immediately get back the original paper again? You might say that, okay, I'll join it with a cello tape. But you will not get a paper exactly identical as this one. Right? So this would be irreversible. But if you use the same paper to make a paper board, you can again unfold it to get back the same paper. So this would be reversible, but this would be irreversible. So it cannot be reversed. Similarly, if you take this example, where you take some flour, you prepare a dough. So preparing this dough, once you prepare the dough, you cannot get back the flour. So this change is irreversible. Now, when you roll this uh, dough into rotis, so that is reversible. Because if, if you are not able to roll a chapati of uh, an exact shape, you can again mold it back into the form of this dough and again you can try to roll it. So basically this part is reversible but when you are making the dough, after making the dough you cannot get back the flour. So that part is irreversible. 
Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.